Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and today I'm so nervous about this, but I have created an original tag. I've not done one before. Uh, I don't even know if this one's any good. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm a, like I said, I'm nervous about it, but uh, we're going to go ahead and see how it goes. Uh, so my original tag is called 1001 Books Tag, and it is because of my 1001 Books You Must Read Before You Die countdown that I am doing. And I just thought it would be a fun play on this particular book and to kind of go through this uh, it just name it this and see what people think or see what people's answers are so let's uh, let's jump in uh, so the first prompt is 1001 lists do you follow any book lists is it can be a prize list or a challenge like the Rory Gilmore challenge uh, it can really be anything and so as you obviously have already seen I definitely follow this list and am re have been reading off of this list for a number of years. I also have a Pulitzer list that I follow uh, where it's not just the winners but also the finalists and so I have another hundred books on that or something like that. I think I've read almost just under 30 on that list uh, but I love lists. <laughs> My booktube newbie part two video has that title on it. I love lists and if you um, if you like lists or like book lists, there's a site called List Challenges where you can go and do an inventory of different you know, lists and see how you rank on those compared to an anonymous number of user and infinite, I don't know how many users, but uh, yeah, I, I that is a fun little rabbit hole that you can go down and I definitely have done that from time to time. So, but that's the first prompt. 1,001 books. Approximately how many physical books do you currently own? Um, and how many ebooks? Okay, so for physical books, I didn't go count. It's probably right about the 300 mark. I did my physical TBR not too long ago and I had 137 unread books. Uh, I probably have, maybe it's closer to 200 right now. Uh, so it's not a huge number. I've certainly seen people with way, way, way more books than that, but I only have a couple bookshelves and I just really started buying books when I started my channel. Um, how many eBooks do I have? Uh, thousands. I have, um, I don't even know how many because I've been using Apple Books or iBooks for a long time and it was my primary way of reading for a very, very long time. I'm gonna say probably close to 2,000 on on that uh, yeah lots of books on the e-reader 1001 books read approximately how many books have you read and do you keep track so I didn't keep track for the longest time I started using Goodreads about four or five years ago and according to Goodreads it's 664 if you go on my iBooks the number read is over 1800 I'm gonna say between somewhere between two and three thousand books uh would be my guess and not all of them are 900 page novels like bleak house some of them are very short short stories things like that but that is the i think right around the number it's an absolutely um mind-blowing number to me but yeah i've been reading for a long time uh, how do I keep track? Now I keep track on Goodreads. Uh, it's just easier uh, to do it on a particular app. So yeah, I use that. 1001 Arabian Nights. Have you read any stories from the Arabian Nights? I, of course, have my beautiful Arabian Nights book here. I haven't read any Arabian Nights uh, stories yet. I am so excited because this will be on my reading list for 2022. But if you have read a story, which one have you read? Do you have a favorite? And then the last part is if you haven't read it, do you want to read it? So, or read a story from this. But, you know, of course, I never hesitate to show my absolutely gorgeous uh, copy of the Arabian Nights. Um, 1001 flavors. Do you have a favorite food or flavor? So this isn't all bookish questions, obviously. Uh, so my favorite food, if I'm being healthy, uh, the favorite food is going to end up being something with curry in it. I uh, really, we have a couple of vegetarian vegan recipes uh, that are like a red curry lentils, uh, things like that. Those tend to be really good. Uh, the other thing though, if I'm not eating healthy, it's definitely pizza. And the pizza with like the really thick crust on it. Oh. 
or a homemade pizza. I have made homemade dough and made homemade pizza. I'll put up a picture of one of the <laughs> pizzas. Yeah, if I could have bread and cheese all the time, I definitely would have bread and cheese all the time. Uh, 1,001 pages. Have you read a book that is over 1,001 pages? Is there one that you recommend and is worth the time? Um, and what is the longest book you actually have read? So the I have read books that are over 1,001 pages. The one that is the longest is The Stand by Stephen King, which clocks in at 1,348 pages, according to my Goodreads. Um, but the book that I would recommend is actually going to be The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. And so this version of the book in this Penguin Classic that I have is 1,250 or so pages, it looks like. Um, so yeah, but this is the book that I credit with getting me back into reading classics, though I'm going to say I read an abridged version of this because I don't remember it being this big or this chunky and that's a chunky book. So I probably should reread it at some point, you know, when I'm bored and need a book to read. Yeah, but it is it is worth the ride. Uh, this long version, it can drag at times, but I love Dumas' writing. Uh, I think that this one, along with The Three Musketeers, are two of my favorite books. Like I said, that got me back into reading classics. Uh, 1,001 Buckets. <laughs> Do you have a non-bookish uh, bucket list? And what is one thing on that list, if you feel comfortable sharing it? I had a pre a written out bucket list for the longest time. I had about 50 different things on it. I have lost it, which is so sad to me. Uh, but one of the things I do remember that was on it was I wanted to take a cooking class in Spain. And it actually was one of the one of the things that I was able to cross off my list. Uh, I was took a class. I learned how to make paella. And that was an absolute blast. If I can put some pictures up of that class, I certainly will. Uh, the rest of the things on my list actually read Reading every book on my thousand and one book count list is on my bucket list if I could find the actual written list, but this is one. That is definitely uh, on that bucket list, as well as lots of outdoorsy things like going on multi-day hiking trips and things out like that, but um, I don't have that one written down now. Uh, 1001 numbers. Do you have a lucky number and is there a story behind it? Uh, you can just say yes to both of those and not actually say the number or the story, I guess. It's kind of like Pay's ducks. Uh, why does Pay have so many ducks? I don't know. Uh, and then in his last video, all the ducks were gone. It's weird. Uh, but the number that comes to mind is kind of a bookish number, which is 42, which is from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, such a fun book. Uh, I read it just a few years ago. We watched that movie actually while we were out camping and had a blast as well. But it is a fun one. Um, but 42 is the number I'm going to go with. Um, 1001 authors. Do you have a favorite author and or genre? Uh, I definitely like mystery. Agatha Christie is right up there at the top. Um, but the author that I have read the most from I've talked about before is J.D. Robb, which is also Nor her pen name is also Nora Roberts or J.D. Robb is one of her pen names. Um, I have read so many books uh, by her. I also do like Steinbeck quite a bit. I have read The Grapes of Wrath, East of Eden, The Pearl of Mice and Men, Cannery Row. So a number of his works and have really enjoyed several of those. East of Eden is my absolute favorite. 1001 activities. Do you have a favorite outdoor activity? So if you watch my channel, you know I am a big fan of the outdoors. I um, will go do just about any activity, uh, kayaking, paddle boarding, backpacking, um, but my favorite is hiking and more specifically hiking with my best friend. Uh, we have been on so many hikes together. We call it going to church for us because it's very refreshing and renewing. Um, if I could go outside any day of the week with her, I absolutely would. And I will throw up a whole bunch of pictures of us out on hikes because she said I could use her picture. So I'm going to use her picture. Um, but yeah, we have been all over the place uh, hiking. So if if I, my go-to, uh, put me out on a trail somewhere with a pack and a thing of water and some snacks and my best friend and 
That's a good day. Very good day. Uh, okay, so 1001 book clubs. This is not really a prompt, but I'm considering doing a 1001 book club with a book a month for a read along. Curious what you think of that. Uh, put it in the uh, description, in the description, in the comments down below if you think that's something that I should do or if you would be interested in joining me on my thousand and one journey and reading some books. Um, but yeah, that's the end of it, except for the last one, which is 10 plus 01, which is tag some friends. I'm going to tag 10 plus one, which is why I wrote the prompt that way. And uh, hopefully, and then I'm going to do plus five. Oh, I forgot I was going to do that. 10 plus 01 plus 5 uh, because I have some people who have tagged me and I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start tagging people. So the plus 5, I'm going to do this actually first, which are five people who have tagged me and I haven't done the tag video yet. The first one is the book buds. I really like Joe and Mary and... Um, I'm questioning that that's their name. I really like the team that is the book buds. They do some skits and they have, they are the ones that created your answer can't be books tag. And it's just been a lot of fun to watch their videos. Um, Teacup the Storyteller, which I believe her name is Becky, uh, tagged me recently in one. Uh, she's a great channel to go and check out. Gem of Books absolutely hilarious i uh, love her sense of humor one of her videos she had her dog basically was just taking over the video and i was laughing the entire time uh fraser simon's springboard thought is a newer channel to me and the amount of books that he reads is amazing um i don't know how he does it all um and then the last one is kit's world um uh, kit had tagged me in uh 25 questions to get to know about me and i just haven't gotten to it yet so uh yeah and kit's been doing van life which has been really really fun so those are the five my plus five so the 10 that I'm going to tag, I am deviating from my jar uh, today just because this is my first original tag and I want to go out and tag some people for it. Uh, the first one is Gina Stanier. Uh, I have been lucky enough to meet Gina in person and am uh, so excited to tag her. Hopefully she wants to do this one. David Wiley is uh, another wonderful booktuber. He actually also tagged me recently. Oh man, I have a lot of tags to do. Um, I really like David's channel. He focuses on a lot of books that I don't read, um, but I really, really enjoy his content, especially his Poetry Thursdays. Um, I believe he and Shelley Swearingen, who is actually the next person I am tagging, uh, are starting a, a eclectic book club uh, coming up, and so I'm excited to see where that goes. Uh, the next one is Michael K. Vaughn, who's one of the first channels that I actually started watching uh, when I started watching BookTube, so um, I'm excited to tag Michael and then book time with Elvis because he said people hadn't been tagging him recently so I am going to tag him uh, and then Christina over at knitting books etc she also actually has tagged me and I haven't done I haven't done that one okay <laughs> I have a few. Um, and then uh, Jack at Spread Book Joy. I love Jack's channel. She is a primary school teacher and does a wide variety of books, but I just really love her vlogs and how peaceful they are. Uh, and then AJ Dunn reads and writes. Uh, I do appreciate AJ's channel quite a bit. They have just such a unique perspective on books. We have been doing a read along uh, or reading um a group read of Wolf Hall and I've gotten to chat with AJ every weekend which has been just an absolute blast. Uh, the next one is Alice in the Giant Bookshelf. Uh, she has a giant TBR, which I can respect because I have a giant TBR. And so I'm tagging Alice. And then Larry has opinions. Larry tagged me in a Spring Has Sprung video. It's November <laughs> and I haven't had a chance to do it. I think I'm just gonna wait until spring and do it then. Um, but Larry is absolutely hilarious and you should go check out his channel. And the last one is Bob the Booker and uh, I could have just said all these people tag me and I haven't done anything. Um, Bob the Booker, who follows a lot of the Booker Prize, but is really, really funny. I want to see what for wine, Bob, 
Bob is like, four glass of wine Bob is like. I think it would be really fun. I told him in a comment that I think four wine Bob and four wine Sandy would get along very, very well. Um, but those are who I'm tagging. I hope you like this original tag. I am so nervous about putting it out there. Hopefully if you're watching this, that means I got over my nerves and actually published it. Um, and I can't wait to see who picks it up. Please, 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 if you do this tag, let me know. You can do it either by, if in the, in the uh, description box of your video, if you type in a ampersand and then start typing in misreads a lot, it will actually bring up some things so you can select me and then I get notified if you tag me. And so that is amazing. Or you can message me on Instagram and let me know you did it. You can use the, um, the hashtag, which is the thousand and one books tag, uh, which I'll have in my video as well. But I look forward to seeing everyone's answers. Hopefully, um, hopefully you like this one. So talk to, uh, <sighs> My brain's not working. <laughs> As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks. Bye.